Okay, I'm about to start putting the rock moulds on now. And the way I'm, I'm going to do it is hot glue. Because normally I would just put plaster, mix plaster and, and put plaster on the back and, and slap it all on. But because the plaster dries so quick, I'm going to just use the hot glue and that way I can I've got the time to put me rocks on the layout without having to rush to get the um, to beat the plaster to dry. So all I'm doing slowly go along. And also, when I'm trying to put the rock moulds up against each other, I've got the sandpaper, which I just rub the, the rock mould on the sandpaper and to help me get me um, to match the rock. Instead of having big gaps like this, which sometimes I've got no choice, but I do have small rocks which I can put in So it's going to be very time consuming. It's just a matter of um, getting the rock that you sort of like.
And the worst part doing this, <coughs> doing it this way, is trying to find the best rock to go in the right spot. But when you find one that's good, saves a bit of time. So as you can see it's it's very time consuming. Try and get a shot down the river all the way to the bridge. When I fill the gaps up, it sure will look a bit better. And just another view from the double truss bridge. Okay, now <coughs> all my gaps I've got in between me rocks what I'm going to do is actually place other rocks over them, like, like so, just to cover up the gaps, because none of this will be having any plaster over it. It's going to all just look like they're all loose rocks just sit, sitting there. So as you can see, I've got like a gap here, a gap in here, like I don't want it completely covered because I'm still going to have like gaps like this just so the, the rocks look like they're just sitting on each other and that will be right around the layout. So I've done some over here as you can see so that the look is to have loose rocks sitting on top of rocks. 
and that part has also been done. So my next part is, I've got the gap here, here, and possibly here, which would, I'll just put a rock on like so. So as I said, I'm not trying to completely cover it, but just enough to make them look like they're loose rocks. So I'll go ahead and do some. Okay, now I'm going to just glue this rock like so, and this one on top to cover this area. So still with the hot glue. And with the glue that runs out, I just wipe off. And then this rock will go like so. Then after it completely dries, I'll just go over and pick out the bits that are hanging, hanging around. So I'll just carry on and finish all that off and show you the outcome. Just some more progress on filling up all the gaps. All the way to there. So I'll keep going. 